last day of the Future Blockchain Summit at Dubai Harbor. I'm Ronella Hernandez and I'm here with Manal from Kumi Ventures. How are you? Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me. I'm well, happy to talk to you. I wanted to ask how it's going so far at the summit, what you think of it? Yeah, I mean, it's been like three crazy days here. Everyone is coming all over the world to Dubai, including myself, just moved here from Singapore. Oh, it's amazing. Dubai. Oh, thank you. I mean, uh, not very new, but yeah, I mean, uh, making like the last step uh, forward to be here finally. And yeah, it's just amazing to be here. Yeah, so are there any insights or anything that you've learned throughout these past few days that you can share with us? Uh, well, I mean, I met like a lot of uh, people from uh, different industries. And I guess this is uh, where these kind of uh, big events are more interesting because coming from the blockchain crypto space, we just focus on our industry. Yeah. So uh, these conferences are very interesting to meet different people from different backgrounds, from different industries and different verticals. And that's what allow us to open up on uh, uh, different synergies uh, in the future. All right, so then tell me about your role in the industry at Plumi Ventures VC firm and what it does and what the mission is. So uh, we just got the impossible approval from uh, Abu Dhabi Global Market. Uh, we are a women-led VC. Uh, we invest in blockchain and, start uh, and um, crypto startups, uh, mainly uh, gaming and infrastructure, okay. and uh, on an early stage. Okay, so what are you hearing from some of the companies that you're investing in, from their founders, that are the biggest challenges or pain points right now for them, given the market? Well. Obviously, it's having uh, funding from uh, investors, uh, but also the traction because it's very hard for a lot of uh, blockchain startups to keep the momentum. A lot of retailers, they just get uh, discouraged by the prices and discouraged by the lack of momentum going on. So I guess, you know, uh, the main pain point is funding basically. Yeah, this is why for, uh, for us as investors, it's very interesting to be in this time because the valuations are great. Uh, we have, uh, I mean, we are looking into a lot of startups with good uh, revenue, which is, you know, a good indicator for an investor. Yeah, and so what do you think needs to happen within the industry for us to like revitalize the, the market? <laughs> well, at this point, you know, uh, the digital asset space is uh, highly tied to the macroeconomic situation. And now with the Fed uh, increasing the interest rate and uh, we have uh, a global recession, I may say, uh, across all the markets. So, of course, you know, Bitcoin is our crypto is one of those uh, assets that has been affected by the inflation. Uh, I believe, you know, we have a, a big uh, event happening next year, which is the halving for Bitcoin. And I believe that it's going to drive the momentum uh, positively, hopefully. But hopefully. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are positive here. Yeah. Let's keep like the positive momentum going on. But we believe the halving is one of the biggest macro um, events that's going to really move the market forward. Are you an investor yourself? How did you get into the industry? Well, I uh, get back um, in 2017, started my uh, first after um, graduating from uni uh, in finance, master in finance, decided to go to work for a crypto startup back uh, then in 2017 in Korea. And uh, I never looked back. I loved the, you know, like the industries, a lot of things happening. Went to the hedge fund space, crypto uh, VC space, and now uh, starting my own uh, venture capital here in Abu Dhabi. So yeah, very exciting journey so far. And tell me what it is about this technology and about the people in the community that really um, makes you passionate about it and makes you want to work in it. I guess what I really love about the Web3 space in general is we are all working towards you know, one goal, which is uh, making the crypto adoption worldwide, right? So I believe that uh, you know, even though you are not working with the project or you are not interested in a vertical, you are still supporting your friends we meet like around the world in different conferences and you just have like, you know, a second family around the world that you meet almost like more than your family. So I guess uh, that's kind of uh, uniqueness that crypto space has uh, will drive uh, the moment, uh, I mean, the adoption even more in the future. Definitely, definitely. And since we are at the Future Blockchain Summit, I do have to ask, how do you envision the future of blockchain looking like? What would you like it to look like? 
believe uh, the real world asset tokenization is uh, one of the best uh, use cases uh, moving forward. I guess we have to invest more in uh, uh, less hyped projects and uh, meme coins and everything that's not driving the, the industry anywhere. I guess we have to uh, focus more on uh, real adoption and bring, bring in the next wave from the existing clients from big corporation to the Web3. Uh, the UX design and seamless use case for blockchain are really important because we don't want to just onboard each other as geeky, we know how, it's, how it works and everything. We want to onboard the next generation who will use blockchain without even knowing that they are using blockchain. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard that sentiment from a lot of people today. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. You're amazing. <laughs> thank you. You too. Thank you.